to another video, and today we have a new disturbance on land. And it was the disturbance that I've been tracking, or storm that I've been tracking for at least four days, one, two days. I don't know how many days, but I've been tracking it before it became a tropical disturbance, and now it has been a tropical disturbance yesterday. Now, I haven't posted a video yesterday because stuff happened. So, yeah. And, yeah. So, obviously, the disturbance is on Tennessee. And, right on top of the borders of Alabama and Tennessee. And it's supposed to travel down to Georgia, to Florida, and then become something a tropical depression or a tropical storm hopefully it's a tropical storm and mo and most likely it is going to if it becomes any storm besides development is is going to infect affect florida basically the whole gulf of mexico states even texas louisiana mississippi Alabama, Georgia, Florida, yeah, I said that many times, but yeah. So let's read about it. So it says, A thorough of low, a throw of low pressure over the southeastern United States is forecast to move southward towards the northern Gulf of Mexico, where broad, low pressure areas is likely to form in a few days. Thereafter, upper level winds support some development of this system while it meanders near the northeastern Gulf of Mexico coast through Friday. So, formation chance through 40 hours, which is two days, low near 0%. Formation chance through five days, medium 40%. That means there's a possibility that it could form five days and above. So, probably form next week. So, yeah. And we still have Cosme with a new tropical disturbance. It says an area of low pressure expected to f form several hundred miles south of the southern coast of Mexico in a few days. Some slow development is possible thereafter while the system moves westward to west-northwestward. Information chance through 48 hours, which is two days low, near 0%. Information chance through five days low, 20%. So guys... Cosme has now 40 miles per hour movement northwest at 9 miles per hour, and it is actually not supposed to be a hurricane, and yeah. So guys, I just went on Tropical Disturbance, and we are going to go on Tropical Tibet and track the Tropical Disturbance. And yeah, so we are going to see if... The GFS shows it forming in a few days. The GFS does not show it forming, but... The GFS actually predicts, like, being on land the whole time. <gasps> Yo, the GFS predicts it. So, it goes on land July 10th, which is in three days. And, yeah, so it goes on land and it goes off land in three days. And then starts to form in the warm water. So, it will affect Florida. It will affect Mississippi. It will affect... Yeah, basically, you just make landfall in Florida, on the Florida panhandle. Basically, just come out there, and then remnants, or the remnants of it, and then just, you know, just become a low, a tropical low. So, yeah, guys, and we are going to check on other systems. Now, there's nothing else supposed to form. And yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and leave a like, and comment, and bye guys!